So let's say you have a website, and you also built an app for a more seamless experience on mobile. As people share and follow web links to your content on Android, they will normally see this speed bump that we call a disambiguation dialog. It's shown when the user has many apps on their device, which can handle the same type of link, in this case, one containing your domain in the URL. But wouldn't it be great if users who follow a link to a website that you own get sent directly to your app? My name is Wojtek Kaliczyński, and I'll show you how App Links, a new feature in Android Marshmallow, lets you do just that. Now, there are two conditions an app needs to meet in order to get rid of the disambiguation dialog for good. One, it has to be configured to handle URLs pointing to your website. And two, you must be able to prove that you control the domain under which your site is hosted. Let me show you how to do it. First, look at your Android manifest file and make sure that you have at least one activity with an intent filter that matches the following. For the data element, it uses an HTTP or HTTPS scheme with your domain as the host. It also needs to have a view action and a browsable category. If you've implemented deep linking in your app before, you might notice that you have that part configured already. There is one more detail you need for enabling app links, though, and that's the new auto-verify attribute. So make sure you add this as well. This will tell the system to kick off domain verification when your app is installed. Let me walk you through that last step now. In order to associate your site with your app, you will need to put a digital asset links JSON file on this exact path under your website's root directory. The format of the file is pretty straightforward. You can just copy the sample from our documentation and replace the two highlighted values with your app's package name and the fingerprint of your signing certificate. You should leave the other fields exactly as shown here. Be careful if you're using a different certificate or package name for your debug build, or you will run into problems later. Also, make sure the file you create is accessible over HTTPS, as that's the only way Android will be able to successfully verify the connection. Now, how do you test if everything is working properly? Just install your app on the device like you normally would, using ADB, Android Studio, or any other method. Then tap on the link to your website from any app. Or you can issue a command through ADB that will start the appropriate intent. Observe what happens next. If you set up both parts, the intent filters and the JSON file correctly, your app should launch immediately. If you do see a disambiguation dialog, that means the package installer wasn't able to verify your domain. You can use the Digital Asset Links tool to see if your JSON file is reachable and parsed correctly. With these simple steps, you can make life easier for your users. So go and implement App Links now. Or check out the other great features that we're introducing in Android Marshmallow. Thanks for watching.